What's good, MABW team? What's going on, MABW fam? And of course, Black Fathers Matter. Anyways, today's topic, ladies, gentlemen, everybody, audience, to my fellas, specifically, should you ever take dating advice from a woman and advice from a woman on how to keep a woman? My response to that is, can you ask a fish how to catch it? And the answer is no, you can't. I personally think you can't take advice from a woman on how to keep her. And if you do take advice from a woman on how to keep her, it's only basically, it's, it's only to her advantage. It's only to her advantage. So she's going to tell you specifically what she wants you to do for her. Not what you should do for other women, possibly, but especially if you ask your own female, what, she, what do you have to do to keep her? She's probably going to give you a whole list of shit. It's going to be too much to even keep up with. I think as a man, you should try to get either, if you don't have a father figure in your life, probably a figure that's basically been in a relationship long enough to know i think you should get two sides um about uh, on how to keep a woman and what what kind of situation you could possibly go through during that time because there's some men that can explain the ups and downs of it like they could explain um basically what they went through how long theirs lasted for and why it ended and then you probably could ask a, possibly can ask a married man which will probably be an elder because i mean you know, like I said before, in today's age, marriage is pretty much like dead. It's pretty much dead. Like, I think that if you ask a female how to keep a female, they're going to give you all the all the plus size of what they look for in a man and what they like. They're not going to tell you on what they should also do to keep you. What should I do? What should you, um, you do to keep a female? That's what a female probably would tell you. Um, you know, buy her flowers, take her out on nice dates every now, all the time, you know, lay some, it's like the, the, the same old cookie cutter stuff. If you really want to ask me, it's like the same old cookie type cutter stuff. What should you, you, you should do this. You should do that. And all of it involves spending money for the most part. All, all of it involves spending money. And another thing I had too. I wanted to ask to the audience out there to the audience is when you, when you're, when you're proposing to a woman is, is, is the value of the ring, like big to a woman, like woman is the amount of money a man spends on a ring. Is that, does that make or break like you marry him? Because I talked to this woman one time that I knew a friend or whatever. And she basically, I just asked her that question one time. And I said, like, for the hell of it, like, does, does it matter how much a ring costs? And the woman said, yes. And to me, I'm like, my, as far as my response, I'm like, it shouldn't matter to, because if the relationship isn't based on monetary value, then the ring shouldn't matter. If the ring costs $200, if the ring costs a thousand dollars, whatever, it shouldn't matter. It should be the fact that the man is showing you that he's ready to settle down with you and that he wants to put a ring on your finger. Like, why do I need to put a $10,000 ring on your finger or a $20,000 ring on your finger? And if something does end up happening, like per se, per se, let's say we end up getting like a divorce. Um, can we have something like an agreement where I get that monetary gift back? Because that is a gift in reality. It is if we if we're parting ways, that gift should be able to come back to me. That gift should be able to come back to me. It should. Cause at the end of the day, woman, what are you gonna do with the ring if you get to keep it? If you're divorcing me and that 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 ring pretty much specifies the love I had for you, what more can you use it for? Like, would it remind would it remind you of me if you look at it? Because I, I wouldn't think any female 
any female would want anything to remind her of her ex-husband or her ex-boyfriend or anything like that. So why don't y'all give back the rings if y'all divorce? Why, why do you have to keep it? That's a real question. Like, enlighten me. Why do y'all have to keep the rings when y'all divorce a man? Do y'all need it? Do y'all need it for like a safety net in case y'all go broke? Y'all can pawn it off and get extra money. For, like I'm, like I'm serious. Like, why do y'all need to keep the ring if y'all get a divorce from a guy? No answers. No answers. You don't need it. Why? Why not? Why not give it back? Just why? Why not give it back? I'm thoroughly confused. Why not just give the ring back? And back to what I was saying, let's get back to the subject. Should you take advice from women on how to keep a woman? And I, my honest response coming from me, I can't speak for everybody else, is no. Especially if you're a young man, you can't even really take advice from your mother on how to keep a woman. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should look up to either your father or, like I said, another male figure that has actually um, had something that was special and lasted and that you've seen growing up possibly if you were able to see something like that last between him and his partner, you know? Because like I said, a female, I feel like they're just gonna tell you the specifics to what they want. And if I'm wrong, ladies, like, let me know. Let me know, if I'm wrong, let me know. Like, if a guy asks you, like, if I had a, if to any of my female friends, if I asked you, like, what would it take to keep like a woman? You would say the same cookie cutters type stuff. You would. And I guarantee some of that cookie cutter stuff will be pretty much figured out, like narrated to what you like, what that female likes. That's how it usually is. So at the end of the day, fellas, don't take advice from, um, woman on how to keep a woman because honestly too i think that's something that you're gonna end up learning throughout your years as you progress as a man like you just end up learning how to deal with women on a specific level and how to treat them as you get older and you see how like you you go you go through your trials and tribulations with women and you just you see how to treat them and and what you want to do with them as far as whether you want to progress with them or just, you know, do your thing and have your fun out here. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my message for the day. It may be W fam. Like I said, if you like this video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. But that's my question. Like to all the ladies out there, number one, why do you need to keep a ring if you're divorcing somebody? Like somebody answer that for me. What's the purpose of you keeping the ring if you're divorcing a man? What does it symbolize to you if y'all divorce it? So why do you need it? You shouldn't need it no more. You should give it back to the guy. And two, fellas, do you think you should, do you think guys should take advice from females? Like I said, me specifically, I don't think guys should take dating advice from females. That it is what it is. Let me know. Drop some, drop something in the comments and let me know, people. Once again, comment, like, subscribe. That's my message for the day, MABW fam. I'm going to hit y'all later. Peace.